Hello my fellow sculptors. In this video we are going to learn about how to use the pen extension and its use. So we will discuss stamp, erase all and how to change the pen size, color and use different interesting effects on the sprite and do many more things. So let's get into it. So first we will go to this extension category and select the pen extension. Now, the pen extension allows the sprite to control their pens. They are useful for creating a shape. So, first let's look at the stamp block. The stamp block creates a copy of the sprite. As you can see, it creates a copy of the sprite. Now, Go to the events category and drag the when green flag clicked block into the scripting area. Now go to the control categories and drag the forever loop here. Now inside the forever loop we will drag the pen down block here. So the sprite will now keep printing. Now add the eraser block at the top. So, it will erase everything on the stage and we will set the pen size to 10. So, the pen size of the sprite will be 10. Now, go to the sensing category and drag the set drag mode block here and set the drag mode to draggable. So, before running my program, let me explain how this works. So when we click the green flag, it will erase everything on the stage used by a pen extension. Then it will trigger this forever loop. And then the sprite will keep on printing on the stage. Now it will set the pen size to 10 and it will set the drag mode to draggable. So let's run our program. As you can see guys, it prints a line. Now, let's look at the pen up block. With this, your sprite will not print. So, we will delete everything inside the forever loop and just drag the set pen size to block here. Now, go to the control categories and drag the if then else block here. Now go to the sensing category and drag the mouse down block here and drag the pen up block inside the else condition and the pen down block inside the if condition. Now go to the motion categories and drag the go to block here and select the option mouse pointer. Now before running a program, let me explain how this works. So first it will go to my mouse pointer and then if I click the mouse it will now print else it will not print. Now let's run our program. As you can see guys I am not clicking anything it doesn't print but if I click it starts printing. Now let's have a look at the change pen size by block. So it will change the pen size of the sprite by one pixel and drag this condition here. Now let's run our program. As you can see guys when I click it increases its size. Now Let's have a look at the set pen color to block. So it will set the pen color to a specified one. So for example, I set the pen color to red. Now let's run a program. As you can see guys, the pen color is now red.
Now let's have a look at the set pen effect to block. So this sets the pen effect to a specified one. So for example, I set the pen saturation to minus 30. And drag it in the if then condition. Now let's run our program. As you can see guys, the saturation is too high. So it is the color white. To see it, we will set the backdrop color to black. So let's do it. So you will go to the backdrops category and then convert to bitmap. And we will fill in the color black. As you can see guys, now you can see it. Now, for example, I set the color effect to 50. Now let's run our program. As you can see guys, now the color effect of the pen is 50. Now in the brightness effect, it sets the brightness of the pen to a specified one. As you can see, it sets the brightness. So let's say we set the brightness to 200. Now, as you can see guys, it is very bright. And to make it darker, let's say we set it to 20. Now, it is very dark. Now this is a pen transparency effect. Before I will run off this program, let me set the brightness back to 100. Now let's set the transparency effect to let's say 30. As you can see guys, our pen looks a bit transparent. Now let's have a look at the change pen effect by block. So we will just replace the set pen block with the change pen block. So for example, we change the pen color by 10. As you can see guys, it slowly changes its pen color. Now for example, I changed the pen saturation effect by 30. As you can see guys, it becomes closer to white. As slowly when I click it. Now let's have a look at the pen brightness effect. But this time I will change it by minus 10. As you can see guys, it slowly becomes darker. Now to make it brighter, we will change it by 10. As you can see, it slowly changes its brightness. Now, this is the pen transparency effect. So for example, I change the pen transparency effect by, let's say, 2. As you can see guys, it slowly changes its transparency effect. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to learn how to make a 3D Jeep by developing simple costume as parts of Jeep like wheels, roof, wheel caps 
and then converting them into 3D effect using the stamp tool and finally drive that jeep. Then check out our video of how to make a 3D jeep in scratch. The link is in the description below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys and take care.